My name is Paul Quinn, I'm on the Argos Helena. I joined this vessel as uh, Chief Engineer in March 2005. In the style of fishing we do, we're fishing South Georgia, Falkland Islands and uh, the Ross Sea. We're catching toothfish, we're fishing in seawater temperatures up to minus one and a half, two degrees. The environment's pretty harsh on the, um, the vessel, amongst icebergs and all that sort of bizzo. We can't afford to go into them areas without a conditioner in our fuel. I think we, we used to put on 25,000 litres of Kira to get us through and that's quite expensive. We've just tried this cold flow and that seems to be going really well and it's been a, it's been a success as far as that's concerned. No sign of waxing whatsoever, which is why we were using Kira in the past. We've used the, the Corn Co since March 2005 and we've used the cold flow just this season. So since 5th of December we, we left here and we've come back, we, we've done 84 days in total. In the past with the Kero, on a 380,000 litre total capacity on the vessel, we used to average 4,300 a day. We're now averaging 4,100 litres a day. When we, when we only burn 4,100 litres a day f fishing, the, the saving over 380,000 litres enables us to do another five days fishing, say. Well, that's, that's possibly half a million dollars to us, so, in profit, so. It's, 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 the benefits are obvious, you know. I believe to give anything a, a good test, you've got to make sure that your machinery's correct to start with. Like we did on here, we made sure that the um, filters were cleaned first, the injectors were serviced, we, we tried the corn cray, so we got a, a, a direct indication on whether it made a direct effect, and it does. The ship runs smoother. Like normally when um, you, you pick up your line, th these boats only do like a knot or two. So as soon as they get their lines up, they put the hammer down, to steam up to the next line. You normally get the exhaust blowing out soot and covers the back deck and stuff like that. Well, now we don't get that, you know? So the exhausts are burning clearer. What the corn crow's done is it, it's a sort of, I don't know whether it's burning more efficiently or whether it's just cleaned up the system, you know? But the system's running a little bit colder than it has in the past. And it's running slightly colder than what the manufacturers did in the, right in the beginning with the engine. Yeah? And we did a bore scope on the engine last time home when we come from Volvis Bay, and the engine's like brand new. Is, you, you actually inspect all the valve seats and all that through a bore scope, and there's no signs of any, any sort of detrimental effect anywhere. I would have expected to see more carbon build up around the exhaust valves and all that. We haven't got that much, which is which is a real good indication because the manufacturers recommend we um, pull the heads and service them at 12,000 hours. We're up to 16,000 hours, you know, and there's no indications or reasons for us to even look at it. So, you know, one problem you do get, like New Zealand fuels very clean. When you go to places like Stanley and you're bunkering fuel from Uruguay you get dirty fuel and that's one benefit that the corn crow does is it picks up any, any shit that we've got and, and you know puts it into our tanks and, and takes it out of the bottom tanks and we drain it off the bottom of our bloody um, our, our service tanks and that so whereas in the past you'd have to be doing shitloads of filters whereas now we're not. We've just done three months without changing a filter on the main engine which I'd be very surprised if you found that on any vessel. It's just unheard of, you know, it's good. And the only thing we've changed in the vessel is the cold flow additive. We were doing four or five filters a trip. Now we haven't done one. So just on, just on manufacturer's filters alone, that's a huge saving, let alone the other benefits with the bloody economy and all the other stuff. We've got a little pump, you stick it in the drum. We've got a chart with a flow rate. As we um, bunker from the shore, they tell us well, we tell them how much flow we want per hour, 50, 60,000 litres per hour. We adjust, and just let it do its thing, off we go. Piece of cake. There's no, there's no hardship, it's, it's just dead simple. Well, the only reason we're using it is because it's, it's cheaper than what we were using in the past, and it is cleaning all our filters up, which is obviously cleaning our tanks up, so it's, it's beneficial, you know. It's a huge cost on these things, fuel, you know, it's, it's just a huge cost. Anything you can do to save a percentage of fuel is a benefit to the vessel in the long term, you know. And if you can save fuel 
and you can um, run your engine cleaner, which is what we're doing, it's got to be a benefit. Yeah? It's got to work, and it's, it's doing all right. We wouldn't use it otherwise.